let's add a custom advanced block to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a advanced block to Minecraft. Last time we've seen the advanced item, now an advanced block. So of course, in our block package, right click new package called custom. And then inside of there, we're going to create a new Java class called the speedy block. Now the speedy block is going to, well, apply the speed effect to the player when they step on it, or actually is actually going to apply the speed effect to any creature that steps on the block. And this is going to extend the block class, making sure that we choose net micro world level block right here, and then hover over this create constructor matching super. Now, if this annoys you, the, the name of the properties parameter here, you, you can click on this, press Shift F6, and then basically rename it. Usually you, you get a good suggestion right here. So let's just click on this and then rename this to properties. There you go. And well, the block, similar to the item, we can middle mouse button click on the block class, and we can just go down and see all of the different methods that we're able to override. And you can see there are even more methods to override in a block. And there are for the item and it doesn't end there because we also have the iForge block interface once again. So you can see even more methods to override. Then we even have the block behavior in theory in which we can also still override a few things. So let's just see, we can type in override and you can see there are a bunch of things that we can override. Some of them are deprecated as you can see that usually should not be an issue. So if things are deprecated inside of the block or the item class, you can still use them. You just shouldn't call the method itself. That includes the super call, by the way, as well. That basically should be all that there is to it. So for example, the on remove method, if I wanted to use it, then I can override it. I just shouldn't call the, the super here and then everything should work totally fine. But of course, we don't want to use the on remove method. The method that we want to look at is the step on method. So this is called, let's see, I've got a middle mouse button, click on this. Sadly, you can see it doesn't have any description or comment associated with it, but the step on method basically is called every time an entity steps on this block. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically just write the method here. So we're, we're going to say if exclamation mark p level dot is client side, what does this mean? First of all, well, what's very important is that you do not miss the exclamation mark here. This is incredibly important because we only want to enter the if statement if we're not on the client, right? This negates the is client side, meaning that we only want to be here if we are on the server. Then we're going to check whether or not the entity that has actually that is stepped on this block is instance of living entity. And if that is the case, then we can be sure that we can just say living entity. So we can basically cast this. So we're going to say p entity dot cast, and then usually. IntelliJ is smart enough to figure out that we want to cast it to a living entity right here. And then incredibly enough, the only thing that we need to do is we need to say living entity dot add effect right here with a new mob effect instance of mob effects dot movement speed, let's say for 300. And that is pretty much it. Now this is actually how easy it can be to add a potion effect to your player in this case or to you know any living entity actually you just have to call the add effect and then make a new mob effect instance of a particular effect and then pass in the number of ticks in this case that this effect should be applied so 300 ticks would mean 15 seconds because there are 20 ticks in one second and that's actually the entire class and all that we need we of course still need to register the actual block so in our mod blocks class once again let's just copy over the endstone citrine ore and let's make this speedy underscore block same with the name, of course, speedy underscore block. And then this very important is, of course, a new speedy block. Apart from that, the rest is actually fine. Maybe it's going to be, you know, a little less strength here. But overall, this should be fine. Now it is registered. We, of course, still need the block states and model JSON files. But no worries, I will actually copy those over. Once again, those are all available to you in the description below. GitHub repository or individual gists as well. The block states JSON is just a normal block states JSON. There you go. Also quickly added the translation. At this point, this should be fairly self-explanatory. And let's go to the model JSON file. Also is completely normal. So we just have a speedy block texture that this points to. The other model JSON files simply point back to the block model JSON file. And then let's add the block texture as well. And now everything here has been added. So now actually that is all that we need to do. You can see it's not actually that crazy. The speedy block, you know, is not that complicated, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the speedy block has been added to the game. Let's set it down. So first of all, as you can see, 
the actual texture always points in the same direction. That's just how it's going to be. So this is a normal block and we haven't defined any specialty in terms of the texture here. But when I step on it, you can see I have the speed effect applied to me. Now, at this point, every tick it gets applied to me. Now, as soon as I go off it, then you can see now the speed effect starts to tick down. So there you go, the speed effect is applied. That's actually how easy and cool an advanced block might be. All right, and that is already it for this example right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah, 